Hello, we are Loops and Lab Bars and we are here today at Legoland! Yes, we're going to do something a little bit different today because we're doing Legoland in the morning and Thought Park in the afternoon. Because uh, we've done Thought Park today, so we thought we'd visit Legoland and see what's, uh, what's happening for Brick or Treat this year. Uh, it's arguably like Legoland's best event and the best yeah. time to be at Legoland because it just makes a whole lot of sense. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to have a wander around, see what Ferrari building race is like and uh, see the, the changes and things like that. Go and see the, uh, the remains of Viking River Splash. Um, get on a couple of rides before we go to Thorpe, uh, Thorpe Park this afternoon, so we'll see what's, uh, what's going on. We will do. So we're going to the park this morning, um, just had a sort of slow saunter down because the park opened at half past nine and we were <laughs> basically where we wanted to be a, a bit too early so we, uh, we had to go in the Ferrari building race. We did, um, yes. much and fun because um, you can sit in there, you can build your own little Ferrari, um, you can do it to the specs they've got on the walls or you can completely free build and then test it out and race it, um, which is really good bit of fun. Yeah, um, it, it fits in incredibly well, uh, you know, it's, it's almost in some regards better than just having a, you know, a new ride or something like that. I had quite a bit of fun in there. I mean, yeah. We spent a good 45 minutes in there just messing around. Yeah. I think it's a bit restrictive on what bricks they have there, but um, I suppose that's part of the fun, building with what restrictions you've got. Uh, once we've done in Ferrari uh, building race, we had a, a go around Miniland, didn't we? And there's not really much new um, there. No, there's not much new. There's a few odd new bits, like the odd new truck. There's a couple of bits in there for Halloween as well. Yeah, find John them. Lewis and Waiter have um, now got branding here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then from there, we went into the brick, mainly to get a uh, said pop badge. Um, <laughs> we also got but the other. <laughs> Uh, whilst we were in there though we did a part of they've got a part of a mosaic so you get a get a little sort of 16 by 8 square and essentially you put coloured bricks on it and then you put it on the mosaic and make part of the mosaic up which is really really good yeah, yeah really I had no idea that was there that's a pretty cool idea um, and then we had a walk through uh, Duplo Valley just to have a look see what's happening with the new roller coasters that are being built for next year everyone's talking about Hyperia no one's talking about these two yeah um, but I suppose there is a bit of a big difference between the two of them um, so yeah, I think now we're, uh, we're going to have some dinner because uh, we didn't have any breakfast, so I'm starving. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we'll see what happens from there. on such short notice. Look, I think I've done it this time. I have finally found the entrance to Monster Street. Woo! <laughs> I know what you're thinking. We've been here before. We've seen this before. It's just a kid's story. And you'd be right. We were going around in circles, but not this time. This time it's real. I've been in. I've seen it. And I've seen them. But now it's your turn. You see, the street only opens once a year, and that time is now. But before you go in, the monsters, they, um, they don't really like humans. So, you're gonna have to pretend to be one of them. Can I hear your loudest werewolf howl? Go! Woo! I didn't hear the bat. Go! On your own, go! You're not gonna last two minutes, right. I think you're ready. Some more than others. Would you 
like a pot? Oh, yes, please. Amazing. Yes. Let me grab one for each of you. Now, before I give it to you, I need to hear your best werewolf howl. <laughs> now, don't think you're escaping. Come on. Oh. Amazing. Marvelous. Bye, friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. oh, he's doing the filming. <laughs> yeah, he's doing the filming. You're the main star, oh, you know, the, yeah. the yep. main character. Yep, yep, totally. And here is some, 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 some Lego for the main character here. Oh, high five. You. I mean, have you got my space? There we go. Oh, and look, high five. Hey! hey. Thank you very much. Stay dry, guys. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. We had some dinner. We did. In Pizza and Pasta Buffet. Yep. Which we have now collected the full set, uh, having done them all. And it's the same as all the others. Um, they did just put some themed food on though. Yeah, um, it was a toffee apple uh, flavoured pizza. Um, yeah, toffee apple crumble, weren't it? Yeah. It was almost like it had got uh, bits of, well, what was it? Sort oats. Of, yeah, uh, oats, but like, kind of like flapjack. Uh, with um, toffee apple sauce and then bits of apple on top. Yeah, it felt like uh, sort of tinned apple. Yeah, and yeah. I, 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 can't, I don't know what, how best to describe it, but basically it was it's still quite well formed sort of thing, but it was, it was soft yeah. as well. But nice. Yeah, it's very tasty. Yeah, and considering it's Aramark, it's not yeah. bad, uh, the pizza and pasta places, but yeah. you do pay through the nose to get in them. Because uh, what is it, 18 50 now, yeah. isn't it? Um, yeah, 18 50 full price, 14 20 or 14 80 I think it was, if you've got Merlin annual pass discount. Yeah. Uh, after we did dinner, we headed around to have a go on the dragon because that's had a bit of a, uh, a glow up for Halloween. Yeah, nothing um, nothing amazing, but they just put some lights and shows and stuff like that. Yeah. Didn't make any sense with the you know, the whole uh, you know Knight's Kingdom sort of area, but it no, was a laugh. But it did give it a bit more part of a party atmosphere and made it a bit more like, mm, yeah. which was nice. Um, um, good fun. Um, find that one. The and then from there we did Monster Street. This is a sort of staple now for Lego Land, and I absolutely love it because you get to go around, you get to like get your little free Lego and see spookies. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically trick or treating, but for, uh, <laughs> yeah, with, with Lego in. Uh, and compared to Alton Towers, who charge for their uh, their Haribo thing. The fact that you get you know a chocolate bar, pop badge, and you know set of Lego for free, I think it's well worth that. It is, um, yeah. Uh, and adults can do it. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then after that, we wandered around a uh, little bit. Monster haunted house, monster party. That is a staple for this place. It's one of the best, like. Uh, Bacoma madhouses. Bacoma madhouses, like in Europe, I have to say. It's the newest, so it's, it's going to be uh, that. But yeah, it's, it's good fun. I like it. I like the soundtrack to it. I think it, it, it ramps up nicely, uh, and you don't notice the effect because I've, we've ridden them loads yeah. uh, and you once you've ridden one you, and you don't know how they work you can start to pick them out and yet the the cylinder and the seats rotate at the same time when they're supposed to it, it, it it's it's a good illusion is uh, is more hot house monster party yeah. uh, and now we're uh, we're just stood outside the new golf because we're gonna have a go at that before we head off to Thorpe Park because uh, uh, what time is it now it is uh, quarter to three now uh, we're expecting to get to Fort Park for somewhere between three and four it's not gonna be that soon but uh, yeah we're we'll going there see what it's like um, and you know all we've got to compare it to really is uh, um, extraordinary oh, golf, golf yeah, yeah uh, which is already decent just because that could do with a bit of a tidy up but with this being yeah. brand new I've got high hopes so yeah. let's go have some fun Hi.
like a bull in a china shop. We don't count mulligans here. Cut. Yes, um, we finished up with the, the miniature golf and we had a bit of a laugh doing that. That was it was we did, nice. Yep. It was pleasant. Obviously, it's a brand new attraction, so it's all nice and clean and tidy. I don't think it'll be quite as exciting once you know the general public has uh, trampled all over it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was nice. Uh, but I think it's a bit pricey at thirteen quid per person. Yeah, for th nine holes. Yeah, for nine holes, ten pound if you've got Berlin annual pass. If you're a hotel guest, it's seven pound fifty. Um, additional rounds are a five. That's for your first round. Additional rounds are a fiver. Yeah. Um, four courses in there, um, all with sort of varying levels of difficulty. The pirates one is probably somewhere in between starter and sort of intermediate. Yeah. Realistically, uh... but the medieval one that looked like it was a very well done starter course. The space one in there does look insane. Yeah, there's a basketball <laughs> hoop, but uh, yeah. you know, we'll uh, hopefully one day get back to doing those because we weren't going to do them all in one day. But you know, wrapping up Brick or Treat, it's Brick or Treat, it's wonderful. It's, yeah. uh, uh, in my opinion, Legoland wins it at its best uh, because it just it just comes alive. There's a lot more, like, there's already a lot of energy in, in, in Legoland anyway, and Brick or Treat just seems to amplify that. It'd yeah. be nice to see if Legoland did something on the lines of like Legoland Oktoberfest, Legoland, uh, I don't know, Festival of Bricks or something like that. Basically, yeah. the other Merlin. Um, uh, 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 events, but at Legoland. Yeah, but at Legoland, yeah, yeah. that'd be good. Because uh, it's just a bit insane, but uh, yeah, I had, I had a good day, even though it's only been you know a sort of a fleeting visit because we're now going to Thorpe Park. Um, I've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it's been, it has been enjoyable today. It's been nice not to kind of be ride heavy for once. Yeah, because so. um, we've obviously done all the rides at Legoland like, plenty of times. And looking forward to the new coasters, not uh, you know, as much as like, Hyperia like everybody else is, uh, but you know, it's, uh, it's, it's it's more new things and I really do hope that they do something good with uh, the area that uh, Viking Splash, um, Viking River Splash is sat on. You know, yep. That's quite a big plot of land. So yeah, we'll see what the future holds for Legoland. So that's Legoland Windsor. It is. Bye bye. Thank you.